Cool. Hi, everybody. My name is Mike Jones. Uh, I have a company called Mike Jones Audio, and I do sound for games. But today I'm going to show you how to use Cubasis and Diode 108. So we're going to start by loading Cubasis here. Um, a couple things you want to make sure you have set first. Uh, you want to go to your setup and go to audio. Make sure background audio is turned on. And then you want to go to MIDI settings and you want to make sure you're sending MIDI clock. So once you have that set, you can back out and you see the red bar, which means that it is running in the background and now you can load diode. So once you're in diode, I have a loop already in place here. Um, <clears throat> What you'll want to do is go to the pads screen, go to your MIDI settings, and just make sure that your MIDI sync is turned on. It should already have Cubasis uh, sync set up, uh, and it just hit save. Now to start, make sure that this will start when Cubasis starts, you want to go ahead and hit play. And as long as that's grayed out, you should be good to go. So now you can back out of diode and go back to Cubasis and simply hit play and we should be in sync so <clears throat> just to show I'll turn the metronome on <clears throat> in Cubasis and let's see here and I'll go back to diode and as you can see my patterns playing um, I'll turn the metronome on in diode as well so you can hear the both going together and I'll go to the pattern sequence and just solo this hit to show you the everything's in sync so now everything's in sync and it should be sounding good so um, it's really just that simple uh, once you, once you have that going, you can pretty much do whatever you want in Cubasis and Diode will follow. In fact, I'll show you this example of just uh, changing the BPM, you know, I will. So I'll just drop it super low, go back here and unsolo this to show the pattern. <laughs> and the pattern should be following. and. There you go.